I'm just gonna be missing out on no. all these uh, great stuff, and yeah. I, I'm really grateful because I get to meet all of you course, guys. Yeah, and uh, there's so many amazing people from the esports yes. uh, scene yeah, and the from ecosystem. around the world. Exactly. <laughs> like we, we just talked to some uh, guys from New Zealand, from NA, and and I, I'm pretty sure there are more out there. And uh, we'd just like to welcome everyone here to Bali, mm -hmm. of course. So enjoy. And well, it looks like we're going to just head back into it, Contra. We're going to get into match number three between Montenegro and... Belgium. Belgium, yes. Exactly. We'd like to welcome you to the 14th Esports World Championships. All right. You've heard the uh, cue to call, and you know it's time for us to hit right into oh, action. Wow. And here we are at Overpass for our third match right. of the day. Good variety today, Contra. We got Nuke, we got Inferno, and now we are on overpass bathrooms. Oh, the party oh. is on as Creepow flanks the terrorist from the party side. He's going to get the second. Is he? I don't know. But all we know is the AZs is going to get all the heads towards the bathrooms. That's right. Scorpion still does a little bit of a sting right there. Gets a headshot onto your road to your perm ban. And no cast. Knows the whereabouts he's going to yeah. be able to take it from behind. And there we go. Belgium with the lead. I mean, that was a pretty dominant start, I guess. Started with a bang again. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I love that they are so hyperactive and taking controls of bathroom, not allowing the teased any sort of control towards that A side. So that was a dominant uh, showing yeah. from that round. Very quick wrap around as well coming in yeah. from uh, the Belgium side. So. Montenegro definitely needs to make a, a couple of adjustments still. For having sure. to go on the, the, this eco round, and especially what you do have an Emperor on the other side, oh, wow. it's going to be a little daunting, <laughs> though. It is. There are four MP9s to work with against only Glocks, I believe. I do. Oh, wait, no. I do see some sheriffs. There's is a force buy um, from a tease Contra. Oh, indeed it is. And uh, let's see if they're going to get those one taps going for yeah. themselves, though. Kapow uh, Kapow. on the outskirts. We'll be able to spot anything for now, though. But this is information, right? This mm. is information that the T's are waiting around towards that mid area. And uh, Kapow, he's going to have to be careful not to get caught. They're early on mid midst of rotation here, so the Belgian side really has to be very, very slow on yeah. their move if they really want to proceed forward with this. Just jumping, making sure that the water is clear. Squeaky. And Artie. He's going to open up the squeaky, going to straight, uh, head straight into short. Hmm. Not going to find anyone just yet. If AZ decides to swing right now, he's going to find a free kill, I believe. But will he do that? That is the question. Trying to connect some of all these shots here <laughs> through the walls. Not going to be able to get much at all. Some setups uh, laid down, and oh. Scorpion's going to be the first one to be taken out. DFX is just looking under the sewage here. Still knowing that there's going to be somebody out there who's spots yeah. the bomb on the ground, we'll be able to take one out. And A short is a bloodbath. No entry whatsoever allowed by the counter terrorists and monster. So zero. Okay, that's one that we needed to see. Of course, DFX is not going to allow anything to happen with his M4A1. And just like that, that is another close to the side of Belgium. And 2 0 is the headline. Yeah, and uh, before we even started match, like we had some conversations, and yeah. we've seen the players getting themselves ready and yeah. warmed up. Like, uh, there's some uh, great stories that we have forgot to learn ourselves. Where yeah. uh, one of the players do have a little bit of disability, but mm. look at him now representing Belgium oh, that's beautiful. in uh, in this competition against some of the best in the world. Yes. Of course, they have what it takes to be they the do. best themselves. They do. And uh, yeah, this lead is probably going to convert into a third round since, you know, they forced up that second round. I don't know if that was the best decision, mm -hmm. but it was also because DFX had an M4 in hand. Consume. Try and lead the way. He did get one for the spray down. That is, of course, an easy cleanup. Sure, yeah. there's another shot there by Roll and Joshin, but it was still a kill um, in the end for Belgium. And three to zero. We are looking uh, at an AWP now instead oh. of the <laughs> Montenegro. You just people. love to see it. Yeah. So early into these rounds, and Montenegro definitely came in a little bit prepared. 
yep. sort of uh, round tree uh, stuff that just happened. Like I guess like they were just forcing a little bit of push, mm -hmm. just hoping that they would be able to uh, rush through. But Belgium definitely did predict the dash very well. As the Molotovs get the fuse consumed now. Under the sewage, though, he's going to be able to get some vital info and no cast. This is going to be able to spray right no. through. And Kapal does stop one of them on their tracks. Yeah, and two for one. Not the trade they were looking for. Kapal, though, equalizes with another kill of his own. Picks up an AK as well. This might just make things work for them. This out on the side of A side. This op is still trying to anchor down. While Kropow is such an adventurous fellow. Look at him. <laughs> he's just being a nuisance yeah. right now. Like, he's just basically looking for whatever it takes to be able to seek oh, them no. all out. But the other uh, members of this T side, there you go. they're just going to be on this approach. So it's going to be spreading very lightly. Kropow finds one, but he just gets one more back in hand. <laughs> yeah, that was such an awkward position to play in. There's a little too many angles to look at for Vid and Grapau. Finally rejoins his teammate towards A, and DFX doesn't even need his help to clean up towards that A side, and the defuse will come through, even with the defuse kit as well. So, yeah, a quick round. Once more, we mm -hmm. see Belgium dominating. Mm -hmm. A 4 to 0 lead. This is not what Montenegro needs right now. Exactly, and at the very least, we see a very decent exchange yeah. when they're on these buy rounds. Right. So it's still uh, looking to be uh, pretty solid in terms of uh, certain executions. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it took a little bit uh, tap too slow on uh, what they needed to yeah. achieve, or else, like if they didn't lose that many members, I would believe that they should be able to yeah. have a decent trade off against the Belgian side. Yeah. Of course, that was the first defuse that went down, and. Doesn't seem like they have lost any uh, form of momentum early on. Nope. And there we go. With the verse blown up. <laughs> they definitely know they're here. <laughs> oh, yeah, Kerpau. What a position to play in, right? Easy kill, but he's. Oh, he's going to get oh. caught in the timing, but still alive. Hiding behind the smoke. The smoke criminal. Doesn't even need to shoot anything. <laughs> Good backup from his friend Note and Dushin. Try and make this possible, but Note is not having any of it. Only one player remaining on the T side. Now, Artie, play around the bathrooms. Is he as adventurous as Kerpau? That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> He's just pushing forward at any chance that he is given. So yeah. now that the team ha does have that form of advantage, I don't think that's any harm at all. So that being said, Artie's the only one left. So... Yeah. Maybe he's looking to save I mean, he time. got this far. He's probably going to get a kill here. Uh, he needs to turn around, though. Oh, <laughs> uh, might be it. <laughs> <laughs> Not like this. Oh, our first knife takedown oh, of the day. I can't believe it. We are the witness of that, Contra. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. I don't like seeing that. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little rough for Monty Negro, of course, but... <sighs> Well, I, I guess, like, you always got to check your six. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that would, uh, he, he got there too easily. I yeah. Like, and, and that was like, you know what? Nobody's behind me. Mm -hmm. I got here. I got this far. Why should I look back? Anyway, fast exact towards A now. Just bursting through monster, but this molly is going to change everything, I feel like. And yes, oh, of course, the swing. The FX with the kills Ooh. together with A's. Just, oh, jeez. <laughs> That was impeccable coming yeah. in with those swings. And Belgium is just not giving any form of chance no. to the Montenegro side. And since that did not work out, consume, just force the turtle in. Uh, just looking for whatever picks necessary for her to get the release. But yeah. uh, it's all done and dusted for now. Just absolute clean takes coming from the Belgian side. And you just saw how they just have this huge widespread of attempt, yeah, yeah. <laughs> most often than not, just showing us that ooze of confidence. Yeah. The, re the responses have been uh, on point, right? They, they threw a molly. Absolutely. They had the crossfire ready towards A, mm -hmm. and they just became this meat grinder that, unfortunately, Min Montenegro was just happy to go through. And that did not work out. 6-0. 
Having a bit of a flashback to game number one and two. <laughs> exactly. As much lead <laughs> at the start of the game. But then again, that game between Serbia and Croatia, mm -hmm. it showed us that this means nothing. Exactly. Monta. This means nothing whatsoever. We still have the other half. We still have the other half. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe Montenegro are defensive players, right? Probably um, so. <laughs> so we'll see about that. But for now, though, we're going to head right into round number seven. Another stack towards the A area. Mm -hmm. Are we going to have to take mid and tunnels? Oh, never mind. Going to go through park. Should yeah. be able to actually get one from here, though. Yeah. There we go. VFX hoping to trade this one. Oh, out. there you go. Falls. Oh, now. Oh, a little rough, though. Yeah. They did get two kills. That That's the opening they needed, right? This is probably the best position that they've ever been in so far. And they have to convert this into a round. Otherwise, I don't know what else to say. Yeah. A little bit of overextension, if you may say so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now that they do have that level advantage, like they should be able to close this round and first get the there plans down, get the mo uh, monies up again. And said, you know, what's better? Just, hunt Just all of them get, the round. <laughs> get the round. Get the round. Just get the round. Waste no time. That's great. That's lovely. First pointer in from Montenegro. And now proceeding into round eight. Well, Just like we said, you know, mm -hmm. a 6-0 means nothing. Yeah. Now they get one. And again, counting to 10 starts with one. So 6-1 <laughs> is probably a good sign for Montenegro. We, we've seen how momentums shift from just having one round on the board. That can mean everything for a team. Exactly. And for Bel Belgium, they just could not afford to basically overstand from time to time again. They'll just be punished, especially now that the odds in hand. And speaking Woo! of which, oh, Vid. Vid. That, that was, was pretty, pretty yeah. lovely. <laughs> it was clean, too. It was a flick. And he had no trouble escaping. Unfortunately, Artie did not come with a friend. Maybe he missed the invite, you know? You're uh, allowed yeah. to bring a plus one. I, I didn't know I am allowed to bring any form of plus <laughs> ones, but oh, boy. Roll. Got the memo, you know? Like, yep. uh, well, you take one of us down, I, I'll back them up. <laughs> and, okay. And it's an eye for an eye for now. Four versus four. But, of course, no operators in the hands of the Belgian side. So, definitely it's going to take quite a while before they really get some clean access into the site. So Montenegro having a little bit of a split going on mm. for now. Yeah, that's interesting, especially after Kurpow standing up at party. Will get traded away, though. So it is still a pretty even 3v3. I think they're looking to execute towards this B side, though. And this attention that's been drawn is actually perfect for wow. this execute because look, A side is now empty and Note is now privy to this. He found one towards stairs, and now he's going to come back around where he was originally from. We'll get oh. a second even, and that just closes it again. Seven to one, just like that. That was clean. I thought the decoy, yeah. uh, the decoy was perfect, and it w even with uh, such a response coming in, the Belgian side w weren't even deferred or... Nope. Oh, they didn't budge at all. Like, yeah, sure, go ahead. Like, <laughs> we still have the numbers advantage on our yep. side, and like, one man was all it takes to take yeah. the final two out of Montenegro. And the fact that Note was so brave to just swing right back and mm -hmm. get the last two kills that shows confidence, like you said. Yeah. And right now, Belgium is not short on any of that. Exactly. It's just rapid response. Amazing flicks going on throughout the match. Oh, looking for the first pick. Sculpting as well as Roll already soaking so much in these early attempts. I don't know where the damage came from. That was a lot. This Nate. Oh, oh, could be something. Yep, that was something. Vid, a free kill to a Scorpion with a Nate. Roll is 23 HP. So, I don't know, man. This is looking like it's falling apart for Montenegro. They need to group up. They need to find a way to get into a site together. And mm. I don't think I've seen too many of the plants yet for Montenegro. So, they've struggled to just get onto the site, especially when you have Vid throwing nades, oh. getting shots with the op, and Krapau, the adventurous man, is yet to be handled. Not too much pressure on the Shojin, though. Yes. <laughs> C4 is right in between his eyes. <laughs> Kapal's just being forced, like, uh, do you attempt on this 1v1? Oh. Yep, Vid's going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th this is what I love. 
uh, from looking at CT's play. You know, mm -hmm. I, I love it when you're proactive in your defense. Exactly. Right? When you're going for control, that's given uh, the T side so little space to work with yeah. that makes it so awkward for them to rotate and that's how Belgium have been able to just get free picks all over it. Exactly what you said like the choke uh, point setup yeah. the the holes were uh, absolutely clean over all coming from the uh, Belgium side and I'm just looking to see how does Montenegro actually oh crack boy. this one open and <laughs> all of it uh, <sighs> that I, I felt it yeah, I, I, right I felt that. And Kropow <laughs> still adventurous as ever. This time, though, gonna get punished for it. While Vid is still posted to his bath. Will be able to get a kill, I feel like, if someone decides that they're brave enough to peek this. But thankfully, they opted for the smoke. This will at least let them live for a little longer as they try to transition into an A split, I believe. Yeah, it seems to be the case for the moment while... At least we are looking at a certain uh, point of passage for Montenegro to be able to congregate after they do have one of the members to be able to pass by uh, the washrooms. Mm. And here we go. We are about to get ourselves that one versus one. Oh, the perfect timing oh. on the one. Oh, they're running through it, though. Oh. The FX, are you ready Dude. for this? No, you're not. And just like that, the side is taken. However, Vit is not done. He is still flicking shots. Was able to get one reload in front of their enemy. Uh, that's an interesting choice, but still alive with only five HP though. And a two v three post plan. This looks like a save is called contra, and that means a second round is on the board for Montenegro. That's right, and Vid, he's just left with too low. There's no way that he, they're going to be contesting this, especially uh, of course uh, with them having just enough uh, money to basically yeah. get into the next round with mm -hmm. uh, better. Utilities and equipments necessary. Yeah, I think like losing one, uh, and they still have a lot of other chances here. So Montenegro finds their way into the second point. That's great. And I feel like if Vid had just 50 more HP, he would have gone for it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's a two v three. They have so much money. Mm -hmm. it, it made sense for them to just mm -hmm. you know try their luck and go for it. But mm -hmm. he was only five HP, right? So <laughs> I guess it didn't make sense in a two v three post plant and retake. So Second round had to be given away. Mm -hmm. Montenegro, 8-2. to two. It is still a massive lead, nonetheless, for Belgium. But they'll still have to keep this momentum going. Otherwise, we've seen this before. We've seen comebacks. And I don't think Belgium is interested to see how that plays out. It's far from over, for sure. And for the time being, they really have to basically establish a little bit more of a manpower over onto... The monster side, because Montenegro's definitely got plans as they are taking over a little bit more control over onto mid. Oh, the molly. Oh, this is going to be pretty tough, though. Yeah. It's okay. Th there's another opening kill now from the side of Belgium. And a second onto roll. Oh, this feels like the previous rounds over and over again. Uh, this That was a great flash, but mm -hmm. wasn't able to follow through. The spray is a little labored. <sighs> Finally going to get a kill there. <laughs> Scorpion will be able to at least trade that out. It is a 2v3. Again, it's very doable, especially with Vit so far away. Absolutely, but <laughs> with an op, op, op round, this is still going to be slightly risky. Yeah. But Montenegro, they're up for it. They have enough of the economy for the next round for buys as well. But just got to take things one step at a time. Yeah. DFX. Be able to get it though with that pre fire. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be able to take out Scorpion. Now, um, not much pressure left, but at least it was a worthy of trade, though the FX is slow. Should, shouldn't be an issue. Yeah. The Joshin, maybe you might just consider, you know, like, I mean, if I do get the trade, it's, it's going to be worthwhile. Yeah. Like, won't be able to get one. No, that's unfortunate. I, I mean, I love the idea there. I mean, uh, him trying that 1v3 <laughs> was actually a 1v2 towards that A side. Exactly. Right. So, sorry, towards the B side. So it wasn't too much of a trouble for him if he could have gotten that first kill. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, AZ's was just too strong for him. And DFX lived to see another day with his AK at hand. So. Yeah. 9-2. Uh, I mean, Montenegro have been able to break apart the defenses mm -hmm. uh, a few times, but 
I feel like the fundamentals here is just way too strong for the side of Belgium. And that missed smoke is going to cost him a lot, but Ooh. never mind. And soon we'll be able to just push through. Yeah. <laughs> just got to hit it's that double fire. button. And it's just fire, man. Yeah. And hit the FX. He's no. basically cornered up, but he does get no. before he bows out. Already gets the trade back. But what did it cost, though? <laughs> is what it costs. A 3v3 Aze is trying so hard, and try he did. Succeeded too, with two kills of his own, making this into a 1v1 actually, after Scorpion decided to just take two kills of his own. Still got a deagle in hand at the very least. Now, gotta find that one tap though, a bit. Oh, he's going for He's it. just gonna be waiting it out. Yeah. Like, that's just one minute to go. He knows that he can't go way too far, can he? <laughs> Scorpion. <laughs> Still hoping to find a way out of this. Crawling his way back in. Oh. oh Is no. this going to be it, though? Oh, no. I'm afraid he's outsmarting himself here, Contra. Because he was going for the rotate, but Vid decided to stay here. So this means he'll hear the bomb plan. And he'll be able to get into position. <gasps> but oh, there we go. The gun advantage on the side of Scorpion seals the deal. And yet another round falls onto the hands of Montenegro. At least there's a third round. Yeah, and this is quite the important round for Montenegro yeah. overall. And uh, it basically enables them to have at least a smoother half uh, on the second. Yes. So now hitting the 13, things are looking to be a lot clearer, clearer when it comes yeah. down to the way that they execute the side. Yep. yep. Especially for uh, Belgium, like you see them having such a good, a great establishment over on to mid, and you know uh, Montenegro just says, "Let's just swing Whatever. one on the side, <laughs> and we're gonna get it." Yeah, they, they they practically just ignored mid and started working on that B side, and they spent a long time working on it, and they finally made it work. Kerpau, oh, I feel like this happened way too often. He found yet another entry towards that mid side. And with this man advantage, once more. Oh, oh he's going to get taken down from both sides, actually. A little awkward there. And finally, Kropow is going to get taken down. The adventurous man not have any adventures for the time being. 4v3. And make that a 4v2 with Joshin. Nice headshot with the Galil. Yeah, Montenegro. Once they do see those cracks, they'll basically punch through those doors. Yep. And it's going to get a little rougher for Belgium now that they don't really have much of an econ for next yeah. round if they don't uh, get this defuse out. So, really, okay. it's all down to this. 2v3. A little slow for Joe Shin to join his teammates. Well, Ace is given a chance to get at least one kill. So now it is a possible 1v2, picking up the AK. Vid is going to have to find a kill right about now. He has no defuse kit. And you know what? He also doesn't have a head after that <laughs> headshot. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely unfortunate, but there we go. Four pointers coming from Monty in the group. And it's been looking pretty solid. Two points in a row overall. And even so, now with the USPs, mm. it's... Probably yeah. going to be pretty hard <laughs> for them to really play with that pure confidence yeah. that we saw in the initial five rounds that Belgium had. So, yeah, it's this time, mistake. <laughs> they're going to tread lightly, but instead, look at this plan, though. Oh, wow. Can Not seen this it. for quite some time. Well, Artie will be able to find three, but Kerpau, again, with two kills of his own, with only a USB at hand. It was making it look like it was sort of possible towards the end there, but DFX... Will be left alone with a deagle. He should be able to recover some guns now that the dust mm -hmm. has settled, but I feel like he's too scared to peek into it. He feels like in a 1v3, there's going to be someone waiting for him to pick up any of the guns. And he thought right, because yeah. there is a consume <laughs> just waiting there towards the stairs side. Is he going to be able to find the timing to peek into him? Never mind. I believe you've made footsteps or not. Probably wouldn't be able to hear it from that from right. distance. But then okay. again, he's slowly creeping in uh, while we still have a lurker at bay. Oh, oh he's going to find one, though. Oh, can he get another? Absolute yeah. snow. Dejotion, <laughs> just a little sharper than that. So there we go. Wiping some sweat off the hands. Got to make sure you, you, you don't have, slip you out of that, that flick. Yeah, you want to have that grip. 
Yeah. A uh, very firm grip, right? Mm -hmm. You're playing an, uh, uh, an op that, that is one of your priorities in life. You, you're going to have a towel, mm -hmm. a hand warmer maybe. Yeah. But it is pretty warm uh, here in uh, Bali, so I don't think... Yeah, a little humid. Uh, I think like they're starting to get more custom yeah. and adjusted yeah. to not only the settings, but the weather itself. Yes. Sure in Bali. I can't believe we're talking about the weather on a CSGO cast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we when, have when the so weather is so good, about. I think like, there's something to talk about. Though. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, here we go again. Last round for this half. We're going to see yet another post towards this uh, tree area. Oh, he's oh. seen. Oh, he's found and he's dead. Leaving only three players from the T side now. Vid with eight HP barely counts, and A's with a head, without a head for both A's and Note. That is the B side open for the taking. But look at the bomb. Where is the bomb going? <laughs> DFX will have this potential to cut them off and make it super awkward for the attacking side here. And like you said, it just spots one out. And, you know, let's swap things out and, of course, make it painful before we get into the next half. Yeah, that's... Oh! Okay. He whips. And Scorpion, he gets it back. Oh! oh! Uh, okay. I was just about to say, he only had 5 HP left. This is looking so hard for Vid. But that's all he needed. That's all and he needs. And a bullet. Needs. And a bullet onto the head. Yeah, it's just... Sheesh. Rapid executions heading into the final round of the half, and you know it's starting to get even more exciting yeah. heading into yeah. the next round because whoever dictates that round itself, correct? It's a huge edge. It is. It is, especially with ten for Belgium now, right? Uh, I believe it is ten for Belgium. That means if they do somehow win the pistol now, they're gonna get at least two rounds in the half and the second half. Yeah, right. pressure's absolutely on, but now. CT side for Montenegro. I want to really see what uh, the huge difference is when it comes down to their execution against yeah. the Belgians. So this time, two over a mid and <laughs> immediately delivered <laughs> one HP. <laughs> one hell of a shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nope. I'm out of there. One HP to work with. Uh, he's probably going to find a corner to tuck himself in. Uh -oh. In the meantime, Artie is going to get taken down. Azies again will open up the site for his team. Turn this into a 4v5 retake. And Joshan, I don't know if he can survive for too long now because he's going to get taken down. Kerpow with the USB. Oh. And another Glock kill. Roll with one HP was actually the guy that got a kill. My goodness, these rounds are absolutely insane. And there we go. Other than that one casualty, everything seems yeah. to be very clean for Belgium overall. All good. And I, I think like there was just a couple of happenstances yeah. that really didn't uh, favor. I, lo I love the long mouse bed, dude. It's the X, X, XL. It feels like He's the X, so XL for speed. me. You can flick for days with that mouse bed. It's lovely. You could um, do a 720 with that, <laughs> probably. A 720. <laughs> Haven't seen that one before, but I don't know. Who knows? But uh, yeah, 11-5. Like you said, whoever mm. wins the pistol in the second half will probably have a huge edge, especially now that I've seen... Um, Belgium just being so confident, like what we saw in the first half. They, they're not afraid to take any control whatsoever. They're not mm -hmm. afraid to take fights, and they're winning them too. <laughs> exactly, and just look at uh, the way that they basically execute with uh, multiple uh, units as well. Yeah. Like the moment that one goes down, like they will be ready for those Correct. trades, yes, and yes. that's how, what we really want to see. So Amante Negro should be able to find a way to retaliate this time around for after sure. that pistol round. But first, oh, the stack. Oh, <laughs> uh oh, what do we have here? Oh. A train of some sorts. Well, we uh, got the balloon set up. Is this going to be the party that we asked for? Yeah, but this train is breaking apart, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. No party right here. Um, and so th <laughs> this is lucky on the side of Belgium, I have to say, as they try and go from A long. Vid will take a casualty using his Mac 10. That's some money in the bank. And DFX will wrap around and see that there's someone lurking in the bathrooms. And Vid is trying to find him so desperately. He knows there's got to be someone here. And DFX was finally the one that found the treasure. Exactly. And now things are looking pretty bleak for Montenegro. And, yeah. well, they've been saving up at the very least. Right, um, right. 
So perhaps like you just have to force something out uh, from here on, yeah. and hopefully see a certain result uh, that will favor them eventually. Uh, though they don't really have much of these utilities no. uh, to be able to draw a long exchange, they just gotta uh, find another quick execution if they will. Alright, some exchanges, the flashes have gone through. The spray down only finds one, unfortunately. Note is gonna get taken down, and roll is. Uh, oh! Through the smoke with a headshot? That is dirty. Very dirty. But uh, I'll take that. 4v5, uh, I mean 4v3 now. Roll still alive. He's gonna get found. He's actually gonna get the one down before being taken down himself. Turns it into a 3v2 for his team. His job is done. Absolutely creating a huge chance for Montenegro to still have a lifeline here in this group stage. Well, technically, there's still some games uh, to be played out by every other team that's currently playing in the group stages. Kyle does find Scorpion. Great lineup as we have the rest of the Belgian side taking a little bit more of a oh detour, but it looks like Montenegro is very well prepped for this. <laughs> yes. I mean, they are kind of duped by the smoke, though. They thought there was going to be a B hit, but look at A's, these adventurers from the side of Belgium. They know how to find their way around this map, and now they found themselves at A. Against two players, it was a bit too much to ask for AZs and Creepow. The 1v2 does here to defuse. There is a defuse kit. That's oh, a bit too much to ask, I guess. The angle was a little too tight. Yeah. It was a 1v2. The cover was there. So nice try for Creepow, but Montenegro will have to take this one. It's been a little 10, though. Got to credit him for that. But of course. A little bit of a radic spray. Yeah, it's hard to connect onto. It's one an AK, or... man. Yeah, <laughs> from that like distance. Like, give him a, a A1S, and you'll see the clutch there. But <laughs> an AK, I mean, hmm. yeah. Well, uh, at, at the release now we do have, you know, quite some rounds to spare for Montenegro. Hmm. Just having a huge sigh of relief yeah. after that round, <laughs> for sure. But but Belgium's not pulling out pulling any punches, man. Look, <laughs> they got op, the op now. An op is out right away after that one loss, <laughs> and this is against five <laughs> rifles. And you know what? Never mind. Four <laughs> rifles for Pau. Doesn't even need an AK to get that kill onto Roll. The spread out positioning by Belgium is a bit disorienting for Montenegro to say the least. They're probably confused right now. Where are these people? Yeah, and the moment they strike, they come in from all corners, and I, I feel like this time around, Belgian side just <laughs> basically <laughs> looking for those big picks, and it really gets to you at the same time. Dude, they're literally just staying still, waiting for people to get into their crosshair, and yeah. it pays off. Yeah. And I think the, the CTs, they have to realize this. They have to know they can't just peek into these angles. Otherwise, they're just lying dead. Yeah. Not in trades whatsoever. Belgium just forcing Montenegro to basically play the game on the Belgium's own turf instead. Yeah, yeah. And they can afford all this time necessary, but though they do have about 30 seconds. They don't seconds have now. the bomb. That's yeah. my concern here. So, uh, yeah, DFX, you're going to have to run back, get the bomb, join your teammates while the teammates are cleaning up towards A, preparing for his grand entrance with a bomb. Yeah, uh, but this is probably a safe, right? I feel like mm -hmm. this is already a safe call. They know they can't really do much with with a 2v5. Mm -hmm. If they can get some exit frags, that would be nice, but even that proves Ooh. to be hard. But uh -huh. hey, that's the op. Hey, okay. I was just talking about how if they can manage to just take that AWP away, mm -hmm. that would be great. Yeah. And it was hand-delivered <laughs> to them. Yeah. Uh, did we expect that? No, not, <laughs> not exactly. The I don't way know. It, I don't know what it was intended, but yeah. Oh I mean, boy, <laughs> that's what being too adventurous gets you, right? Yeah. He he could have just stayed still, and have his uh, uh, op right now, but mm -hmm. Vit is only equipped with the Tech Nine instead. <laughs> yep, I guess like he just gotta suffer the consequences for the time being. 
Wait, hold up. Uh, okay. Was that a win for Martin or for Belgium? Seems like Wait, a hold up. Was did I miss getting... something here? Did they run out of time? I, yes, I, they did. They, they actually did. What? Because uh, you saw the big wraparound that they had? Yeah. Like, it, it didn't really... It gave them I'm sorry, a bunch of I'm advantage, sorry. but th that plan should have actually went down for the yeah. past round. Like, it was clear... Sorry, it, I'm just too lost, but <laughs> anyway. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get that. We'll, we'll get there. Um... But yeah, because the numbers don't add up. Anyway, numbers don't add up for the CTs now because Consume was only able to get one. That means a 4 v 3 is on, and this time they're not going to leave the bomb behind. They've learned their lesson mm -hmm. somehow, though. There is still a kill. Scorpion will get traded away. Vid is going to cover his teammates while this bomb, this time with the intention of actually planting it on time. Please do so. Exactly, and as they slowly get their rotations off of B, they're just looking for a little bit more of a flank angle instead. And they know for a fact that near the fence is where they should not even try to approach. No. So, okay, this is more like it, right? The the, the the bomb is planted, and the CTs are saving. Mm -hmm. And this round will go to Belgium, so the number mm -hmm. that's going to change is that 12 into a 13. Forcing that save. Only sensible option right now. And that also means that Montenegro, they only have another three rounds uh, to spare, in or two rounds to spare in terms of loss. And they just gotta basically have that game plan from here on. They can't afford to drop more rounds no. in Belgium. No, 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 no. And, and that's a tough ask. Right. And yeah. Look, the the, re the only reason they won that last round, the two rounds before, was because Belgium just didn't have their bomb at hand. Exactly. <laughs> just so far, Belgium. Just, own doing. Yeah, they're, they're just able to get all these entry kills and access to the side pretty easily. I must say. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna try that again towards that mid area. Oh, the nade again. Consume is down to seven seven. Not dead just yet. Uh, a bit of a struggle here from Vid. Oh, I can't believe that didn't connect at all. Yeah. <laughs> and at the very least, no cast does get this one in the back. And now that should be a lot of uh, clean passage through A if Belgium really wants to get across. Yeah. As most of the setups uh, aiming towards middle as well as the B side. There is an op though. So if they decide to somehow go to A, their bathrooms, that might prove to be fatal. But uh, yeah, it looks like they are leaning towards that option though. Contra, th this, no. I I'm scared. I don't want to look at this. <laughs> oh. oh no. That's what I'm this talking about. This is why. This That's is why. absolutely That's why. Exactly why. And they know too. They decided, you know what? You know what? Let's just leave the opera. Yeah. Let's just like go. Let's just go away. Yep. <laughs> Let him have his business. Yep. And now, as they approach Monster, uh, things are looking pretty dicey this time around for the Belgium. Flash. Oh. Here comes the swing, and Coca Coke Vid, he's gonna get them back. Okay. But he's still got 4 HP to work with. Yep. yep. See the console there? Don't pay too much mind. And oh, the spray ah. down! Oh, Joshin, that could have been it! Two so players close. remaining, so close. And roll with the AWP and a retake. Ah, not the most ideal situation to be in. Yeah. It is not impossible. I'll grant him that. He is reloading it. Five bullets in the chamber. He's going to have to find some quick kills now. Oh, and he does it. find so. Oh, my goodness. Oh, All right. Flick. That actually worked. <laughs> that, that split second of a flick. Yeah. I mean, was absolutely sublime. We gotta see that again. We gotta, we gotta. Please <laughs> give us the replay. Uh, don't worry. I guess like there's a lot more great stuff to come. Oh yeah, for sure. But I, okay. I mean, that's gonna extend the life of this game, right? Because mm -hmm. that means another round goes to Montenegro. Uh, now Belgium have to fight for more rounds to be able to close it out. Um, so we're gonna see more of that. Exactly. More. Such an important win for Montenegro. It was. It was. And now, 
ready for 20 second round this this time it see, didn't seem like the belgians have much rifles to work with but yep. you know what just storm it right through you they won't suspect a thing and yeah. uh scorpion he's about ready to blow just like that a spray down will get himself three goes already from behind okay there you go joshin closes it out that was a as simple as it gets yeah right? it was just a run straight through to the side and just hold left click get three kills four kills even that Artie transition just, yeah. uh, that transition was everything everything and yeah perfect place perfect timing and and a perfect part. weapon too. He had an A4. If yeah. He had an A1. That would have been a bit of a rough spray down. Mm -hmm. But an A4 with 30 bullets in the chamber. Yeah. That he was having the time of his life. All right. A very important round here. 13 to nine. I feel like this is a big chance for Montenegro to at least get double digits. But as I say that. That is exactly what they're going to go for. Roll with the opening kill. Another one towards Kripau. That's going to open up a world of possibilities for them. Yeah, but Aizo just got caught out once again by Consume. And now momentum is swinging. Then again, and it could still happen from uh, this uh, current position. As they do take a little bit of hole, Artie does get them down so it's all down to bit and Montenegro just smells this cookie <laughs> of opportunity if that's ever a thing you know dude <laughs> this is getting so real um because you look at the money right non-existent on the side of Belgium so if they win this it's not just double digits it's gonna be double one right mm -hmm. and they're gonna be two rounds away to a 13-13. Vitz probably gonna get a kill here. Oh, never mind. Not even gonna get that. At least not yet. Is he gonna be able to find a kill though? Oh, yes. he does. At least one kill. It is still a 1v3. And the timing is unreal. Joshin will be able to close it out. 13 to 10. Yeah, perfect timing for the cross. And <laughs> oh. I kind of wish this was a series other than the best of one. <laughs> like, it's just the story yeah, is just unfolding exact, through yeah, these yeah. groups that there's so much for them to basically prove here in the IESF yep. World Esports Championships. And well, they well gotta work with what they have, right? Best of one. Let's play the best of one. Every round counts from here on. For sure. Mid. There we go. Roll. Oh, I feel like it's been here for way too long. And somehow he's always getting the kills, and he's going to find another one. Probably going to go for the second. Oh, double dipping. Not going to get him anything. Consumed, though. We will to take a kill of his own. And Roll still missing some shots, and he's actually going to take in the, by the Deagle, not the AK. And Consume knows that this is probably not the best idea to stick around for too long. The AWP is going to get saved. Or rather, hand it over to the uh, main opper. Oh, pretty cheeky moves, but yeah. did he still get it, though? <laughs> oh, going in all the way back, and thankfully, the round was still won. Well, wow. Okay. That that sort of back and forth was what we were also been waiting for as yep, well. Yep. A little bit more aggression being displayed yes. by both sides, willing to go for all these sort of trades, even though like, they had the right ideas. Like, it just needed a little bit more spice to it. Oh yeah, for sure. And guns. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't have the guns. Um, only picked up an AWP after a killing roll. Have a little bit more now. But when it comes down to smooks and stuff, like, only a few in the hand for Belgium. Scorpion's the first one to go down. Mm, okay. Great headshot from to Artie. And even Joshin is just getting tagged overall. Belgium can find their 14th point you're on but they're taking things rather slowly yeah super slow i don't think they've decided yet which way to go this a hit is imminent but you see vid still posted way too far in the playgrounds probably gonna rejoin his teammates now as they try and lurk up monster 
That flash is not the best, and that pays the dividends for Artie instead. And yeah. this time, though, the entries are falling in place. And with that, a 1v3 is what we are going to see. Yeah, the execution was uh, pretty much close with the right ideas this time around. And Belgium, uh, they just basically got that push as well. Down to roll on this dire attempt into the smokes. We'll be able to find it at all. And it's too much of a waiting game. He's just going to be opting yeah. his way out. Probably the best decision he could basically pull off for the time being. And, yep, got to keep this op online for the next round. But, I mean, they're not the richest uh, team in the world just yet. Uh, they still have to manage their economy. We'll, uh, we'll be able to buy up this round still. Mm -hmm. And, of course, by saving the AWP, it's going to bring that onto the next round. So at least there's another chance for Roll to do what he did and get opening kills for his team. But Belgium has responded with an AWP of their own. Oh. So Vid is going to have some fun with this. Not going to be able to join his team too mm -hmm. much when they're executing, but he'll be able to hold angles. He'll be the one watching their backs. Exactly. Oh, the, he's expecting oh. this. And he does! Oh. The foresight to look and aim and pre-place his crosshair there. That speaks about experience. Just two steps ahead of them, and here we go. Definitely being all laid out, and Scorpion is hoping to find something at all in TFX. Uh, okay. He just absolutely gets punished for it. Now, down to four men. Belgian. Still having the bomb all the way back, though. So, another waiting game for Montenegro. And they're still absolutely clueless this time around. Trying to still block it all out in order to secure the B side. So, Belgium. They're about to strike real hard from here on. So, Montenegro. It doesn't seem like they were well prepared for this, but Artie is no going to get the way. spray now. He's no going to get the Can't get the turn in through the smoke. Artie, he's going to find his way forward, but that's all he needs for now. Oh, boy. And here comes Vid. One tap. And now all alone. I don't think he can get Wait, no. cross, but he still <laughs> finds it in the back. Okay. Oh. All right. Not like that. All right. One HP. Uh, they did not need to give two more lives there, but mm -hmm. I forgive them. That was very worse for Montenegro yeah, as this well. This one, though, Artie. Oh, oh cool. what a beautiful spray. He was full blind, by the way, and yeah. he just decided to spray. And this is the advantage of being the counter terrorist, right? Mm -hmm. you, you hold an, uh, a choke point like Monster, and you just start spraying, mm -hmm. and you'll somehow connect your bullets. <laughs> yep, and of course. The timing. The timing was unreal. <laughs> Impeccable. Okay. Propel. He's gonna hold this. Oh, he's gonna oh. find two. No, consumes the one that's gonna find two. The spray down with the A1 is so, so crisp. There is a Deagle still consumed. He's gonna find his third. He's probably gonna find his fourth. Oh. And with that, we are just one round away from Montenegro equalizing with the scoreline. Yeah, and you can see the motivation yeah, and the focus the in their eyes. I the calms. feel it. Yeah, it's definitely boiling down to this. And I'm not too sure about Belgium, though, because mm. they have been holding on to this lead for such a long time. And wherever that was established might just be lost. Or he could basically be pulled into rounds of overtime. Rounds of overtime. He's going to have to see now. As DFX is going to pre-aim that same angle. Not going to find anything this time. I guess Montenegro learned their lesson. Not to poke that area there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Once um, bit and twice shy, they yep. say. That's right. So A side, I feel like, is the target once more. Mm -hmm. We're going to see them lurk up and set up the 
positions to execute with their utilities. Now, on to Artie. Still haven't been able to basically find a clean pick. No, did he grow? They just have this wall of defense just ready to basically rally into the side for a retake oh. necessary. But there we go. Kapow finds the first one. Kapow finds one. And then a follow up. Um, the bomb is getting planted as the post plant is actually in motion. Only one player remaining. He's even going to miss. Oh. With only 12 HP, he's getting chased down. DFX knows he's weak. He's going to look for it. He's going to wrap around from behind him while Roll was actually pushing forward. Oh. oh what is happening here? Is uh, this a desperate attempt, though? I, <laughs> I, 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 I don't think it's I possible. don't think it's going to work out. No, I, mean, I don't think so. But 1v5? <laughs> okay, there uh -uh. you go. Well, I thought it was going to go in Ninja or some stuff. But uh, nope. Not going to happen this time. And with that, uh -huh. finally, finally, the number that's been avoiding Belgium has finally arrived. 15. Match point. Match point. And at the very least, having a few more rounds to spare and a little bit of damage to the economy of Montenegro. They're just going to be forced into a half by at the very least. Mm -hmm. So this is very, very oh. doable. And oh, didn't manage to connect that one. Could have been a big shot. Yikes. He soaks in a little bit of damage, but takes out Kinsu, rolls the next one to go. Oh, Kerpow! Belgium, they're on to something, and they will get it. Match secured, and they will be able to at least establish the points in their respective group, yep. taking out Montenegro. But this match was inching closer and closer for Montenegro, <laughs> grow, that they start to feel uncomfortable. Of course, they do have every good reason to celebrate. For sure, for sure. I mean, they took the lead from the get-go. Uh, looked like it was kind of getting scary because Montenegro was trying to catch up, but uh, eventually they did close it out 16 to 13, much like what we saw in our second match of the day. It's actually the exact same scoreline, and Belgium this time fills that spot where we call the winners. Belgium, congratulations. With that said, first, teams like Montenegro, as well as Croatia, still has a, a few rounds to play before yeah. we decide who gets to lead their respective groups overall. For sure. But I think they've definitely shown us that they are very, very capable to be able to challenge oh, yeah. other teams that are oh, yeah. already in the playoff stage. But with one step forward here, I really do wonder who else will be facing Belgium. Yeah. <laughs> who has such a, an amazing execution here on Overpass, where you saw on the first half itself, like they were pushing all the way yeah. into the middle grounds, and they basically know where exactly uh, to basically pick up all these targets. And that definitely gave Montenegro a really tough time. But on the CT side, we see Montenegro at least finding it a little bit uh, more comfortable for yeah. themselves to be able to pull some back. So it was just laid out for some of all the past couple of final rounds to be the decider of that match. Yeah. And, and Belgium, like you said, they, they, they extruded confidence, right? They, they, they were showing us that they know how to move around this map. They knew how to play with the timings. They even, uh, you know, filled in some fakes as well, you know, and, and almost worked for some of the rounds, but eventually it was...